Hello, hello, hello. It is your girl, Bonita, and I am back on DCW50, and we are here to recap last week's episode of All American. And it gets it's really, really spicy and really juicy, so I'm going to wait for people to get on, and um, let's see. We got a couple people coming in right now, which is great. We got Colleen. Hello, Colleen. And we have... Chris Reed, who is going to join me for the recap as well. All right, let's get started. Here we go. We're going live. We're going live. What up, what up? What is up? How are you doing today? I am great. How about yourself? I see you got a little bit of scruff going on, you know? Yeah, I'm, tr I'm <laughs> seeing if I can actually manage to grow something out. You know? It's cute. I like it. Thanks. <laughs> How are you? What's going on? Doing well. Long time no see. It's been two weeks, actually. Yeah, and it feels like it's been forever. I know, I know. And we, you know, I'm excited for tonight's episode of All-American because... Yeah. It's getting crazier by the minutes. By I the mean, episode, it's getting crazier. Yeah. I mean, after catching up on the last two weeks and mm -hmm. everything at the cabin and yeah. everything in Vegas, it was just like, oh my God, this was such an addictive two-hour binge of what I've missed. Right. And but first of all, how are they old enough to go to Vegas, first of all? But whatever, that's fine. But um, <laughs> I'm just like, you know, it's so funny because these guys are, you know, in high school, senior years. Do people go to Vegas at 17? Um, I mean, my friend Joy did. Um, I mean, for us, I guess we went to Ocean City, but like... I mean, when I was 17, I went off to New York by myself. That's so, not bad, right? I mean, they're from L.A. I know people from L.A., given I know this from Keeping Up with the Kardashians. But I, yeah. like, you know, it seems like they just jet off and like go off to vegas fairly often so it's like you know, not a problem right <laughs> they're from beverly hills why not exactly hey emma emma joined us so let's get started on all american i just want to let's talk about this episode really quick um before the next one comes on at eight but i i i can't believe jordan got married. what do you think about that um sorry you're breaking up there what do i think about oh. what I said, um, Jordan and Simone, they tied the knot in Vegas. What do you think about that? Um, I think it's kind of insane. Um, but I mean, Simone's already had a kid at this point, so, you know. No. What more adult things does she need to do? <laughs> I mean, they are kind of moving really fast, to be honest. But I guess, like Jordan says, when you know, you know. I tell I you mean, don't, I guess. He says that, but whether or not this will come back and bite him in the butt later is another thing. It might. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I mean, we all think we're actually more advanced when we're 17. And then when you are when you reach like 30 or whatever. You're like, that was 20, so stupid. Why did I do that? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. You're like, wait, what like, was, was I baby. thinking? Who, who let me do those things? Why exactly. did no one step in and intervene? Exactly. Exactly. So what else? We have um, Spencer. Well, this is the main topic I want to talk about. Spencer. <laughs> Spencer he confesses his love <laughs> for Olivia. And I, so, okay. A girl and their body, and it looked like they were hooking up. We thought originally that it was Olivia and Spencer. Yeah. And the whole time, it ended up being Layla and Spencer. What a twist. Huge twist, which is why tonight is going to be really important, I think. Like, I mean, definitely. Um, but, I, mean, I just really can't see, can't wait to see what's going to come next. And, like, all right. the drama that it's going to... Because, I mean, it seems like for the last two episodes, it's really been about airing out the drama and the team. Oh, yeah, of and... course. Oh, hi, Antonio. Um, hello, but, hello. I mean... <laughs> I'm having... Especially after everything that happened at the cabin of them at the bonfire mm -hmm. and they all are playing um, uh, Never Have I Ever and it just starts yeah. with them all airing out the tea. That's the other thing. Between um, Spencer and Coop, I really want to see what's going to happen with them. And, yes, exactly. Um, everything in between uh, Patience and uh, 
finding uh, JP and a little... Oh, yep, yep. JP and... I forgot her name, but his I got artist. Notes right we'll here. say it's his like, artist. Yeah, little... I feel dumb. Uh, little Jewel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say Little Mama, but I'm like, I don't think that's right. That no, Little Mama actually... was in the season before. <laughs> but so that's not her. But he likes a lot of little women, obviously. But um, I was going to say Asher and Olivia. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait, am I? I'm Asher and Olivia I'm broke up. up. They broke up, exactly. And what else? JJ. What happened with JJ? I don't think it was anything, right? They had strippers. JJ had strippers come. Yeah. But I think the main focus was Olivia and... Spencer and him confessing his love for her but also this is what I don't like about guys you guys confess your love and then when she says uh I'm good on that you just go to the next one so Layla comes up and boom they're just sleeping together but you just confess to your love why would you not just hold out like because he needed an emotional rebound I guess no absolutely <laughs> not that's what I don't like. That is a problem right there. And I know a lot of women can contest to this. It's so annoying because sometimes you men just don't know, like, you guys can't be lonely. Yeah. You you can't. I mean, I don't know. Personally, I think it's going fairly well in my relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But, I mean... I'm just hoping that tonight, because I, I, when we saw the episode, I mean, the, the preview for what's to come tonight, I think Layla hears the whole story, because at the end of last um, episode, she, I think, I think she's going to break up with him and tell him to go be with her. Yeah. Um. So Sorry. that, and then I'm thinking, um, Jordan's parents are going to find out that He's married. He's married, exactly. And that's going to be a huge thing. And, um, yeah, do I don't think. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Billy and Laura are going to go back together? I do. I hope so. They're so cute. She's so gorgeous. And I love Tay Diggs. Like, ah, he's so gorgeous as well. They make a really cute couple. I really hope that they get back together because at the end of the day, like, yes, he cheated and he's paying for it 101%. But it was, I think it was, he cheated way, like, early, 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 early in, on. Like, early in their marriage. Like, exactly. Like, very, it, very when, uh, early. Uh, yeah. yeah like so like Layla and George. I mean, cheating like, is like still cheating. But, yes. but I think there is, you know, you can find a way to forgive them if the love is there and if, you know, she can see beyond that. Entirely unrelated. Did you notice they recast Layla's dad? A hundred percent. That's so weird too, because I was watching it and Chris, You're like, who is that man? Exactly. I was like, who is that guy? And then my boyfriend pointed it out and was like, that's a different guy. And I go, No, it's not. Be quiet. And he goes, No, that's a different guy. And I go, Oh man, that really is a different guy. Yeah. And I, I did like, some research and I mean I ended up finding out it's because of all the COVID travel restrictions and like okay. since they were filming this all during COVID last year, the mm -hmm. actor couldn't fly to film because he just wasn't allowed to. And so they what? just ended up choosing to recast him because he couldn't oh, get wow. there to film. But so, I like, wonder I mean, where he lived though at the same time. Like what? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it He might've been out of the country or something. Yeah. Maybe he'll come back. Um, it wouldn't be the first time that's yeah. happened on, <laughs> on I know. a CW show where like they recast an actor and then bring back the original. Exactly. Like, I kind of hope so. Yeah, me too. But, you know, at the same time, he doesn't play a major part, so it's fine. Yeah. You know. Now, if it was replacing Spencer or Jordan, I would have a huge problem. So, no I think that would have been a bigger deal. <laughs> oh, 100%. None <laughs> of the, the player... actor couldn't get there, I think all of production would have been halted. Yeah. Cancel the show. <laughs> done, well, done, I mean... done. I mean, that's uh, the first thing that comes to mind is back with Riverdale and whatnot yeah. when uh, AJ Kappa got into that massive car accident. After oh, yeah, exactly. The one day, um, which I knew I saw a lot of people going back and like going back to Smallville. Yeah. Um, uh, 
Tom Welling nearly got into a car accident too after filming because there was the contract mm -hmm. or whatever that said they couldn't like get a private driver. Right. And, and all of the cast of Smallville like signed a contract or whatever to the network saying like, give him a driver. We're not going to ask for one. Pretty much. But like, do what you got to do to not let him die. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh. Very true. And so like, there's always like exceptions made and I mean who knows there might be one we don't know yet but all we do know is that tonight it's going down again I got my wine in my hand you got your wine ready I'm yes I'm so excited Red Bull <laughs> oh wow that's good though Red Bull's cool watch watch the all the stuff in it but <laughs> you're okay I mean I, I'm speaking but I got wine so at the end of the day I guess <laughs> It's all the same, right? Um, hey, at so, least wine is fruit, so, you know, that's still healthier. And I try to drink the dry wines, which it's not sweet. So yeah. one cup doesn't hurt. Whatever, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, um, one of the things that I saw today, which, like, I saw your original post. Yeah. And, I mean... I almost want to say we should take a moment of silence for Kane. We should totally take a moment of silence for Kane. You know, I, um, just saying a couple of things about him. Um, I was his intern, um, back in 2014 and he gave me my first shot in radio, which was really, really great. Um, and I learned a lot. So I am very shocked to hear the news and, you know, just praying for his family at this time and just, you know, praying for the, the whole iHeart family because, you know, I think everybody's affected by this. And it's just, it's really, really crazy. It's weird yeah. and it's a tough time. So it's just, it's, you know, doesn't feel I mean, real, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's very heartbreaking. Yeah, it um, is. I mean, the Kane show played such an important part of my teen years. Oh yeah, and same here starting in middle school like i'd get up in the morning and listen to the kane show in the mornings yes. uh, sarah's dirty dirty at 6 30 oh yeah um, and all of that and like club kane at night and it was like mm -hmm. my favorite thing every night yep exactly and it's i it's shocking and it's sad yeah. you know what i mean it really is and i think yeah. the dc radio and just in general they're broadcast media here has really mm -hmm. like oh yeah i feel like it metaphorically needs to dim its lights tonight definitely i wish i could dim my light over there but it's either <laughs> cut it off or yeah leave it on i don't have a dimmer i'm sorry <laughs> it is what it is I exactly mean... but i think we should totally take a quick moment of silence and then um you know, keep his family and his uh, children, especially our his prayers. girls, um, yeah. in our prayers and just, you know, continue to, you know, keep his legacy alive at the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. He definitely molded an entire generation of people. Right. Moment of silence. All right. All right. Well, that was it. You know, I think we can come to a conclusion that tonight is going to be a great episode. Definitely. I mean, yeah. I genuinely just can't wait to see what's going to happen. Me too. Um, do you so. think, I mean, because Asher and Olivia broke up. Do you think right. Ash, um, Asher and Vanessa are going to totally get together. Come on. I mean, yes. But do you think that Olivia and Spencer are still going to get back together? Or do you think everything with uh, Layla and whatnot has now? I don't know. I guess we have to see. I mean, possibly. But I, I just, I really don't know. Because they already gave me a cliffhanger last episode with, oh, it wasn't, you know, Olivia it was Layla's body and that's who we hooked up with in Vegas. And, you know, so I think, um, I don't know. We'll have to find out though. All right. Yeah, exactly. Well, so 
I look forward to checking in with you next week and discussing exactly. all the drama that's going to happen tonight. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy that you joined me, and I'm so happy that we get to do this every Monday night, and then we get to watch our favorite episodes of All American. So that's exactly what I want. So pretty soon we're going to start running out of episodes. I think we are. Um, they might. I know last season they did like a break in between. So who knows? I don't know how they're working um, this season, but. You know, I, keep it coming. I'm ready every single week. Keep it coming. <laughs> well, if they do, do a break, who knows? Maybe we'll just have to switch shows and start talking about all the drama that ensues with Black Lightning's final season. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. I love it. I've been watching some episodes, and I'm like, why am I watching the episodes when I haven't even caught up? You got to catch up. <laughs> I know. I have, I'm have. i like, I haven't watched anything. Like, I'm one season, two season, three season, four season. I haven't watched anything. So hopefully one day I can just binge watch it all and just be so excited about it and talk about it. So <laughs> Great. sounds good. Exactly. Well, thank you, Chris. I will catch you next week. And don't forget to watch All American tonight at eight o'clock, followed by Black Lightning, guys. Until next time. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Toodles. Bye.